about the social and the interview. According to Martin Buber, there are two essentially different areas of human relationship. That's social and interview. Social refers to the relationship in which an individual existence is enclosed and contained in a group existence. Meaning, a relationship between someone and another in the social context is determined by their membership into a group. A great example of it would be that Bon and Venus share a social relation because both of them are Filipinos. To further explain this, individuals are socially related to each other since they belong to a group of humanity. It also highlights that in the social realm, personal relations has rather been inclined to be suppressed. This is to maintain a collective attitude so that a group continues to exist. Huber has given an overall example of social relations through his own experience. He joined a procession that consists of people who are supporters of a deceased influential man. Each person felt sadness, but hard to know one another. The bond that is existing between them is a social one, but not interview. So for the next area, it's interview. Interview happens between a person and another, wherein a person becomes aware of the other as a unique individual. Buber also stated that the realm of the interhuman goes far beyond sympathy. The sphere of the interhuman is one in which a person is confronted by the other. We call it unfolding the dialogical, meaning we are participating in dialogue or they are conversing. The realm of the interhuman is the realm of intersubjectivity. I become aware of the other as a subject and not as a mere object, a thou rather than me. So for the next topic, let's discuss about being and sin. So what we discussed ngayon is about being and sin. According to Buber, there are two types of human existence involved in interhuman relationship. These are being and sin. Being, this is when the person thinks and acts from who he or she really is. On the other hand, seeming is when the person thinks and acts who he or she wishes to be. Sa being, the person communicates to the other spontaneously, meaning there is no pretension sa mga words and actions niya. In other words, lahat normal, lahat totoo. In this type of human existence, the person is not influenced by the desire to make himself understood by another. Huber also mentioned that it is difficult to maintain in the sphere of being kasi minsan there are cases na na-influensyahan tayo na to act kung ano yung gusto nating makita ng ibang tao sa atin. At dito na pumapasok yung singing. In this type of human existence, communication is not spontaneous. Whatever the person says has already been prepared kasi gusto niyang maging careful dun sa impresyong mabubuo ng taong kausap niya. As a result, it leads to pretension or deception. To end this topic, sinabi ni Buber na in order to have a genuine relationship or dialogue, the communication must be an activity of being rather than of seeing. So, proceed na tayo sa next topic. Sa panahon ngayon, ang tinatawag natin conversation would be more properly described as speechifying. It means people do not speak to one another, but each, although turned to the other, really speaks to a spectacious part of a being whose life consists of nothing but listening to him. Para tumaas ang genuine dialogue, dapat itreat mong yung partner as a unique individual. You become aware of him that he is different from you. You accept the person's belief and live through a common event from the standpoint of the person without giving up your point of view. Ini-imagine mo what the person is wishing, feeling, perceiving, and thinking. For example, pag in-embrace mo ang pain na kausap mo, it doesn't really mean na nararamdaman mo yung pain na na-experience niya. But, you have knowledge about his feeling. In short, you imagine the real. In general, personal making present is turning to the partner or turning of the pain. There are two things which impede or slow the growth of life between men, which is the invasion of seeing in the inadequacy of perception, and now is the According to Google, they are two basic ways affecting men in their lives and their attitude in life, which is the imposition and unfoldment. Imposition and unfoldment are two fantastic characteristics of the relationship we can have to the other persons, since interhuman is also known as the 
yourself to the other, you unfold your real self. Boomer designates this character to the educator. The educator, in part of the propaganda, lets the individual unfold his humanity, presents himself as a helper who assists other persons grow. Imposition and unfolding is not to be confused with arrogance and humanity, since these are two events within the human person or the soul, but imposition and unfolding are events within a person. I myself can be arrogant without imposing myself, or I can be humble without letting the other impose his or hers. So, for the last part of this presentation, tatalakayan ko naman ang all about sa genuine dialogue. Genuine dialogue, first of all, must be grounded in the spirit of truth, or in other words, as of Benuna, it must be a turning of the being, not seeming. We must accept the one that you are making dialogue with by experiencing senses and imagining the real, to be aware of his beliefs without forgetting your own principles. Most importantly, we must accept him or her as your partner in dialogue and not just a mere person, kahit na nag-o-oppose ang views ninyong dalawa. Next, both of you must have to say what you need to say. Both of you should not hold back what you truly believe in. Next naman, we should need to resist the temptation of having semblance or yung pag about what you look like from the other. Do not bring attention to yourself. Rather, say what you need to say at the moment. If you both get all of these criteria, your dialogue can be deemed successful and fruitful. Oh, and one more thing. If, for example, in a group, you do not have to talk all the time during your dialogue. You just need to say what is on your mind when you need to say it. Of course, you will not know when to say what because a good dialogue is always spontaneous and is not scripted beforehand. You just need to feel that moment, that urge to speak of your opinion. And when that time comes, your voice will indeed be heard. And dito nagtatapos ang ating presentation.